Now, your latest news update from Western Mass News. Good Wednesday afternoon, everyone. I'm Chris Pisano with a look at your headlines. In Miller's Falls, a 66-year-old woman's confirmed dead after a two-alarm house fire yesterday. Several local fire departments responding to the fire. The cause still under investigation. Officials say, though, it does not appear to be foul play. Results are in for all four of the ballot questions in this midterm election. Question one, dubbed as the millionaire's tax. The people voted yes on that question with 52% of those votes. On question two, regarding dental insurance, 71% of the people voted yes. Question three, on the retail alcohol license limit, people voted no with 55% of the votes. And finally, on question four, on whether or not to give licenses to unauthorized immigrants, voters said yes. Governor-elect Maura Healey speaking out today after her historic victory. Healey was elected to become the first woman and first openly gay governor of Massachusetts. She met with Governor Charlie Baker to discuss plans for the transition of power and says she's excited to get to work and intends to look at every issue on a case-by-case -case basis. I'm meteorologist Jana Brown, the tech of your forecast. We'll keep clear skies again this evening, so another big drop in temperatures as lows return to the upper 20s likely for tomorrow morning. And with calm wind expected or light to calm wind, we should get quite a bit of frost again for tomorrow. Now, once we start off our Thursday cold and frosty, temperatures actually warm up a little bit more, and highs are going to climb into the low to mid 60s, which is about 10 degrees above normal. Well, plenty of sunshine, too, so I would say that's the pick of the week. It will be a little bit breezy, though. Wind could occasionally gust up to 20 miles an hour out of the southwest. That southwesterly flow being enhanced from high pressure off the coast, a strong storm system making its way into the country's midsection, and what is almost Hurricane Nicole. We'll be tracking remnants of Nicole, which will be headed our way for the end of the week. Veterans Day is still going to be a very warm day with highs near 70. It'll be breezy and cloudy. Chance for showers going by the early afternoon and then rain will be heavy at times Friday night into early Saturday morning. We could pick up one to two inches and wind could gust up to 40 miles an hour. Saturday will dry out, but we stay breezy. It'll be mild Saturday, but turning much cooler Sunday and next week. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.